Hi, everyone. I'm Nick Reagan with Live 5 News, and today we are sitting down with Molly Owens-John. She is a Republican candidate for the uh, Berkeley County Auditor primary that's coming up here in June. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's start off for folks who maybe don't know who you are. Give us a little bit of background into uh, who you are, maybe a little bit on your education and your qualifications for uh, the auditor position. Okay, so I'm Molly Owens John. I grew up in Somerville. I have three children. I've been married for 14 years to my husband, Derek. And I started my journey in the auditor's office right out of high school. Um, I started as a intern and that internship turned into my current position as the deputy auditor for Berkeley County. Yeah, so you've obviously been in uh, sort of the secondary role a little bit. Now you're looking to move up to that uh, top position. What is it that you bring to the office that uh, folks at home uh, would want to know about? What I bring to the table is, of course, my experience in the auditor's office and the many different roles that I've played in that department. Our department is split up between we have vehicle services, we have watercraft, airplanes, documented vessels, business, personal property, and we also do the billing for real property. I have been able to go through every step of that department and I know it front to back. There, so, you know, not just my qualifications, just as being in that office, but I've done every aspect in that office. So obviously you know a lot about what's going on in the office. What is something that, uh, you know, you would like to address either something that maybe is not uh, functioning perfectly or maybe something you want to introduce. Tell us what you want to do with the position. So currently we are actually implementing a system that will allow taxpayers to sign up for e-billing. They will be able to get live text. And we're trying to just modernize the office a little bit. Since our office location is in Monk's Corner and Berkeley County is spread out pretty far, we are trying to make it a little bit easier and accessible for applications and stuff to be done online also as in person. Can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, what you're doing on the campaign side of things? How are you reaching voters and what is sort of your message to them when you are meeting them? So currently on the campaign trail, what I'm doing is we are going through neighborhoods meeting uh, taxpayers of Berkeley County, and we are attending events, county council meetings, um, along with festivals that Berkeley County offers, just to get her out and meet the taxpayers of Berkeley County, and kind of just spread the word that, you know, I've been in that office, I know that role, so moving into the auditor's position, there would be no learning, I would, I are, I'm already prepared and ready for that position. There's no, I wouldn't have to come in and learn new, new jobs as I'm already well aware of it. We're also implementing a new tax software and that software, I have been working closely with the programmers to build that program. So to have someone that isn't familiar with everything that that job entails, they're not gonna really know how to work that program that we're coming up with that will hopefully ease our taxpayers and ease our employees for Berkeley County as well. I think uh, some folks maybe don't know exactly what it is that the auditor does and sort of the uh, interconnections that uh, the office has with you know uh, other governments, DMV, things like that. It, tell me about right. something that, that you have, you've learned in your years at the auditor's office that is maybe uh, something folks don't, don't know about. Oh. Sorry, we froze. <laughs> Uh, I was just saying, uh, tell me about something that you've learned uh, in your years at the auditor's office that maybe folks don't know about that maybe surprised you. So Berkeley County is growing. Um, when I first started in the office, we did our monthly vehicle renewal process was around 12 to 15,000 tax bills that we generated monthly for vehicles. Now we've grown so much that we're kind of up towards the 19,000 marker that we are generating vehicle tax notices. We are also generating watercraft notices, about 5,000 of those um, every month 
along with real property notices, that's about 130 notices that we generate that have to go out in October. So just learning how many that we actually have to generate every month kind of was a shocker. And now to see that it, it's moving and we're constantly growing, you know, we have to be able to manage that. Do you, well, let me, let me phrase it this way. Uh, why is now sort of the right time for you to, to try to move into this position? So our current auditor, Ms. Janet brown Dorosco, she is retiring, so she is not running again. So now she's prepared me for that position to run for auditor. Um, and, and right now you feel like you are, you're ready to go. You're the right candidate for the job. I know you have a primary challenger as well, or uh, yes. another primary candidate. Um, you believe that uh, you are obviously uh, the better candidate here. Honestly, I believe that I am. I'm the right person for the job. I've been there. I care about my taxpayers. That is my number one goal is to care and provide the best service that I can to my taxpayers. And knowing that I have the care, the compassion, the integrity and transparency and accountability to be able to serve the public to the best service that they are deserved. All right. Well, before I let you go, I just wanted to make sure that we covered everything that you wanted to talk about. Was there something we missed or uh, perhaps a message to, to voters um, before they go to the polls that uh, you'd like to get out there? I just want to get out there that Berkeley County Auditor's Office is here to serve you to the best that we can. And we are also, if people don't know about homestead exemption, if you're over 65 or a senior a citizen or disabled through a state or federal agency, we have those applications that can help you lower your taxes on your real estate, along with veteran exemptions. If you're a 100% disabled veteran, service connected, we do have a process to help you apply for exemptions that you may be eligible for. You can definitely inquire at the auditor's office and we'll be glad to help. All right. Well, uh, thank you again. Uh, this is Molly Owens John. She is the Republican running in the primary for Berkeley County Auditor, the current deputy there. Again, uh, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.